So really, um, what I want to talk about today is what are the questions that NOC are facing in EP now? What is our case for change? Where do we want to go? And uh, what are our goals? A clear objective is definitely shareholder insight into the business to ensure that we're shaping the right business for the future, one that will best respond to our future challenges. Also, we wish to guarantee and maximize returns and profits to our shareholder as well as to our business. Throughout our value chain, we must ensure that we get real-time data, real-time numbers, and that we implement adequate financial controls. NOCs have, over the last few years, diversified their business and their investments into multiple sectors. As the business grew tougher, we're now all deciding that we need to refocus back into our core business. And we can see these examples uh, not only at Sonangol, uh, where I come from, but also Petronas, who has, for example, continued to divest non-core assets that offer little growth prospects. Similarly, Bras Petro, Petrobras has been drawing from biofuel production, LPG distribution, and fertilizer production, which they had invested in the past. So in this tough environment, our aim is to increase Sonangal's competitive position. The key factors on the process so far that we have undertaken has been strong leadership on the process. This allows us a resolute steering and accountability of everyone. Fast decision making through closely monitoring the works. Transversal management, enabling effective coordination on the different work streams. We also have installed rigorous monitoring of progress and obstacles, reporting obstacles and registering their progress. We use tools to enable an efficient and rigorous management of the process and its impacts. Technical capability in change management is extremely important. Internal communication and improving communication with relevant stakeholders to ensure their commitment and involvement with our vision and with our plan. Complete access to information ensures that the team's actions are consisting with our existing situation. In Sonangal, we have undertaken an ambitious cost reduction plan called Sonalite. Our objective is to increase revenue, but most of all, our objective is to increase value. So in Sonangal PNP, which is our operating arm, we have started a process to manage and reduce our logistic costs and have been successful since 2015 up to 2017 to reduce these costs by 50%. Cultural change, people. People are the real game changer. They're the real drive to the future and the drive to EP success. Uh, we thought about what we have to do, what we have to adjust. A lot of the measures were mentioned here by my panelists, so looking at all the kind of OPEX operations and how we reduce those costs. But then the future vision is really that when we plan ahead and when we think ahead, we have to build a model that is much more resilient to the changes in price. So we have to avoid being so vulnerable to price change. And for that, what we're doing now is that we're designing most of our CapEx deployment in a much more conservative manner than we were doing in the past. The main focus of our restructure is really to try and enhance our oil and gas business. We have very good oil structures, so we have a good oil potential and a great gas potential, and it's really to enhance those and to have a team, a leadership team that's very focused on being able to bring those assets up to life, so bring new development, new exploration, but at the correct cost. Really looking at CapEx, speaking to our partners, making them understand that it's not just a question about producing more, but it's about producing at the right price. Uh, we have a legacy. It's a great legacy. We were a pillar of our economy since uh, 1975. Our company is it's a, fairly, it's a fairly young company because most of the companies around here are probably 100 or 150 years old. But um, of course, we, we had a tremendous task on our shoulders. We were um, involved in different types of businesses. We have divested in, invested in uh, agricultural businesses, in the health sector, in social housing, and we were a pillar of Angolan economy. But as Angolan economy grew, and we were the fastest growing economy in Africa and the fastest growing economy in the world for a number of years, also the diversification of our economy became a reality. So there's a lot of private sector growth, 
And as the Sonongo, we no longer need to be involved in all these sectors. This has given us an opportunity to scale back and now to focus in oil and gas. It's about creating the next generation of NOC because we want to challenge the way NOCs are working today. We feel that uh, we've been in a very stale model. Uh, not a lot of change of innovation has come in NOCs. So our vision is that a year from now, we'll, if you allow me to come back, Absolutely. <laughs> we will come and uh, dare you with some more uh, disruptive thinking coming from an NOC than an IOC.